Hello and welcome to Paint Shop Pro Basics episode 36. We are on the last brush in that long list of brushes. Way down here at the bottom, Color Replacer. Now I'm not sure how many of you have played around with Microsoft Paint, but I remember that being the only program I had as a kid for doing any sort of editing. You know, I always made weird little pictures. But one of the best features that I loved about that whole thing is that you could actually erase one color with another color. And so I could go through with my little brush and I could replace a color along a line without having to worry about redoing the line or having to you know, attach a line here you know, with the pink bucket tool it might go too far stuff like that not a problem back then well I was actually ple pleasantly surprised to find out that we have a similar tool in paint shop pro it's called the color replacer tool what this do tool does is it replaces the color in your image represented by the background color in your materials palette with the foreground color in your materials palette. So over here, if this background color exists in your image, you can replace it with this color very easily. You just paint it in. So first thing we do is we first pick our color. Let's say I wanted to replace a color with blue. A little darker blue. Okay. All I have to do is pick the color that I want to replace. Hold down the control key to bring up our temporary eyedropper and then right click. Use the right mouse button, right click on the color that you want to replace. Now you're all set up. That's all you have to do. You can set your tolerance setting up here Uh, that was interesting. Okay, anyway, you can set your tolerance setting up here to determine how close a color has to be to your background color in order to be replaced. Higher values allow more colors to be replaced. Lower values allow fewer colors to be replaced. 20 is about average. So if I just click and paint, only that color out of everything is being replaced or at least a color within 20 percent tolerance level of that color undo that increase the tolerance and more colors will become painted because they match within that higher tolerance level I have to admit, that's a pretty interesting image now. Undo that. So lower tolerance, usually better for this sort of thing. Now, as you saw, you can come up to this little button, and it will go through your entire image and replace all pixels with this color, so you don't have to paint it if you don't want to. If you just want the whole image affected, it will go ahead and do the whole image for you. You can also double click to get the same thing. And that's your color replacer tool. Just select the background color and let it go.